Hey guys, how are you? So today we're going to be making something very different. And I actually have it with me before I actually, uh, before I was actually able to mail this off to the customer. So here it is. We are making this key holder. Isn't it so pretty? Yay. So I did a lot of hard work on here. I had to do a lot of things. I even got the little hooks on the back. Here's the back side. I had to cut the screws because I didn't want to, um, these were black screws. And then I, I didn't want to keep um, buying extra product because I had a whole lot of work to put into it anyway. So let's head over to the craft day so you guys can see what I made. Happy crafting. Thanks for checking back in. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And if you're a return subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. So today we are making a resin key holder. If you want the design that is made, I will leave a link in the description. And I was just showing you guys how I normally um, choose the clear one to do things like uh, see where I want these um, these key holders placed. She wanted seven of them, so it's more economically for me to find a pack of eight. So that's how I ended up doing it. I ended up giving her eight instead of seven. So I'm just gonna basically use the hot glue to figure out where I want these to sit at and then I'll do everything based around these. This is a permanent deco color pen, but you won't be able to see it after I've sealed everything in. Just showing you guys that these are steel and that it helps cool the glue off faster. So now since I have them all in place now, I'm going to also figure out where I want my letters. Then I'll detach them and do a flood coat on my letters. You also wanted it to say keys, so that's why I'm putting keys on there. These are also the stickers that I get from Dollar Tree. And now it's time for a flood coat. I tried to focus in the middle because I would like for it to thicken up some before I spread it uh, across the front because I, I'm worried about it spilling over. So I just waited on it to thicken up some before I went to spread. Initially, I'm gonna attempt to use this, but I'm gonna find out that the drill bit is no good. So I'm gonna use this to drill it in and then I'm gonna screw it in afterwards. I'm gonna have to do the long process.
Y'all, please look over me. I don't know why I kept going at it, but I just kept going at it. I guess I just didn't really want to accept the fact that I had to do it by hand after this. So now that's finally done and over, let's get to some more tough stuff. Like, this where I felt like I was really doing something. I used the real tool today. This is my first time doing this. I actually didn't know I had a tool that could do it. But um, I have it on level one for right now until I get used to it. There's nothing flammable in my area. And as you saw, I have on some protection. Um, I'm keeping my hand at a steady pace away from the drill. So I'm taking precautions here. I am very accident prone, so it's very important that I be as safe as I can in here. But yeah, I am so proud of myself. Now it's time for me to flood coat the back again with some more resin so I can seal in these nails and fix that smudge I made with the drill. And I used some uh, some shot glass, some shot plastic cups to um, to help level it out as I pour my flood coat on the back. just going to use the glare of the umbrella light to kind of uh, fix those areas where I didn't quite get in all the uh, resin where I needed it to go. Now it's time for me to add the back onto it. I'm trying to see how long the screw is going to be. So it looks like I'm going to have to do something here to hide this area that I'm going to make as well. And I was just showing you that I'm not going to reinvent the wheel by making any more new holes. I'm just going to use the holes that are already there because they're already measured for me. And I'm just going to uh, add my hooks on. I'm gonna use some uh, UV resin and this mold to make some quick gems to put where those holes were made and hot glue them on there and they should be permanent because there's some type of um, grain for them to stay on and that should work. In multiple ones because I was trying to see which one would fit better with their design. there you have it thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button